Hello and welcome back to Three Minutes of Madness. I'm your host, Dustin Fisher, and I have now been sequestered to my panic room. So, today we have a very interesting all-animal matchup between the T-Rex, who finished second in the actual animal behind a rabbit, believe it or not, uh, and they are the seven seed, and Brett will be arguing them, and the ten seed, Scarab Beetles from The Mummy. Uh, they came in first in the swarm category, and they will be argued by Corey. But first, we are going to go to Brett. So, unmute and spotlight. Hi, Brett. How are you doing? And why are the T-Rex, why is the T-Rex going to beat these beetles? Thanks, Dustin. And because, obviously, as you know from my, my week one argument, I'm a um, hobby paleontologist, and that's really becoming more of a, a serious passion of mine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my video. I don't really need to to do this with any audio, visual, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna share from the knowledge from my top of my head here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off. Um, all right, so uh, T-Rex, you know, the ty Tyrannosaurus Rex, as we say in the industry, um, you know, they may have small hands, but that's really to distract away from their giant mouths full of sharp talon-like teeth. Um, you might know that uh, Ed from the movie Madness Group, he was supposed to be here tonight. He's not because T-Rexes eat lawyers, as we remember from um, the first Jurassic Park film. Um, I'm sorry, Brett, but you know we don't have the capability to do video you know, sharing. I can't, I can't hear you. It's weird. I, I no, can't no, hear we don't you. Have, see, I can't do video sharing like you have mentioned, so uh, oh. I'm, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's just gonna- I can't, yeah. yeah it's no, I, pro it probably, you know, you probably heard what you needed to in the first I, 15 seconds. That's not here. Okay, I'm gonna mute you now, T Rex, Brett, so all now the way. I can no longer hear you, okay? Is that okay? Okay, great. All right, now we're gonna go to Corey. Corey, why are the scarab beetles you know, going? Yeah. Corey called me in to make this argument, and I'm T-Rex here. So I am able to speak to you because uh, Tony Stark, uh, after he used his intellect to defeat the Mataba virus, he created a program to, to translate dinosaur talk. I'm sorry. You translate dinosaur talk to English. Um, basically, like, yeah, I could step down, but these scarab beetles, they come in the thousands and millions, and then they just bite into the flesh. And then we tried this out. We tested it. And uh, here was our friend. And this is what he turned out like. And uh, Tony Stark also, um, you know, created a shrink ray. So one tenth size. Uh, this is what was left after the scarab beetles ate all of his flesh. Wow. I had no idea, Mr. T-Rex. And yeah, thank you for the uh, Mataba virus reference. That was especially fun for, for to, to special uh, near and dear to my heart. All right. Well, um, Brett, go, what is your prop? Go ahead. I... No, I, I agree with everything he said. T-Rex all the way. He would crush them with the force of his talons. But I, I agree completely. That was better than I could have said. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out my cards and start a new hobby. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that I did, that's what he said, but it's, go it's ahead. Not, it's not what I said. And again, thanks to the power of the intellect of Tony Stark. No, it was uh, great. You don't need to even say it again. It was awesome. Couldn't okay. have said it better. And you know what, Brett, yeah. neither do you. All right, muting again. So, oh, spit take. <laughs> I'm going to unmute you now. <laughs> so, all right. You know what? I was totally going to give the win to the T-Rex. But after that spit take, Honestly, I'm still going to give the win to the T-Rex because I can't give it to a vacant <laughs> chair. So um, to the T-Rex that's speaking, meaning stop. I'm giving the actual yeah, victory to the scarab beetles. So um, <laughs> congratulations, T-Rex, for a compelling argument against yourself. And uh, this has been certainly a bunch of minutes of madness. <laughs> and I am your host, Dustin Fisher. 
<laughs> uh, saying <laughs> as the infamous Corey Johns, who I thought was going to be on the show, has met, said, keep watching movies. Madness. <laughs> All joking aside, ladies and gentlemen, have you been the victim of a dinosaur assault? Have you tried going to an outhouse in the middle of nowhere to take a dump, only to be bitten in half by a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Well, you need to call me, Ed Ports. I've handled dozens of cases, often to trial, involving assaults by Velociraptors, Tyrannosaurs, Mosasaurs, and whatever that chameleon thing in the new Jurassic Park was. So remember, if you've got a phone and you're being attacked by a dinosaur, then call the police or call the National Guard or call a scientist or something, and then call me, Ed Poritz, Dinosaur Lawyer.